right, we are going to be building a Arduino-based RGB LED circuit, and then we're going to do some programming on it in upcoming videos. So, start out with, you need a few things. One, an Arduino and a USB cable. Uh, knockoff is perfectly fine. We paid three dollars and sixty something cents on this for on eBay, so that works great. We also have uh, LEDs. We need if we're going to do RGB control, that stands for red, green, blue. We need a red, a green, and a blue LED. We got a whole bunch of them here. Uh, you also are going to need some resistors so you don't burn your LEDs out. Um, anything that's over two hundred ohms, not too far over, but about that, should generally work. Some other things you're going to need uh, are going to be a breadboard and some jumper wires to connect this all together. So to start out, we're going to take our red, green, and blue LEDs and put them in the board. And I'm going to use, uh, on these breadboards here, the way these work, the five pins here are connected to each other. Same with every set of five on either side, but the two sides are not connected. The ten are not connected, but the five are. Um, and then the long rows of these red and blue strips on mine uh, are connected to each other. A few different color schemes out there. I'm going to take the long leg and the short leg, separate them, and span them across row two here on mine. I'm intentionally putting it with one space on either side because we're going to need those spaces later when we make some changes. Uh, so then I'm going to take my green long leg on the same side as the red one's long leg, and I'm going to span it across the board. So I'm getting one leg into each side. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the blue. Long leg over here, I'm going to do it in row 8. Short leg on the other side of that. And now I've got my R, G, and B LEDs in here. To make things simple for myself, I found some jumper wires of each color that I'm using. So I have a red jumper wire that I'm going to plug in next to the long leg. Maybe. There we go. A uh, green one next to the long leg of the green wire. And then a blue one next to the long leg of the blue wire LED. And so these are my three leads. It doesn't matter which port you put it in as long as it is in the same row of five. Um, on the other side, we need to uh, get a resistor. And we're going to use that to get us to ground. So we're going to connect one into any of those ground ports and the other one into one next to the LED. So it should be in line with the LED and then into ground. And so we do that three times over. And once you do that, it doesn't actually matter which one it goes into on the long row because they're all connected to each other. And so we'll plug those in. Now we have our main wire to our LEDs to our resistors all grounded together. And then we're just going to plug a black wire of some color that represents ground to you uh, into that same row. We're going to take all these and we're going to hook it up to our Arduino. Now I happen to have mine plugged into the computer. No need to have done that already. In fact, it's probably better not to. Which ports you use is up to you. There are 13 digital uh, input-output ports over here. Uh, 13 typically has a test LED and a resistor on it, um, which you can also use port 13 for things. I'm going to choose to use 10 for red, 11 for green, and 12 for blue. You could pick any of them, but if you're trying to follow along with the code that I'm writing in future videos, you probably want to do the same ones, at least for now. Uh, and now, in theory, when we power this all up, these LEDs should all turn on if our code will work. So we'll get to that in our next video.